In my last um, Mega Drive video, which was probably a week or two ago now, I um, started to chip away at the, um, the cartridge only games. There's a bit of a stack here, there's also a stack of the Mega Games cartridges. Um, so, yeah, I didn't really get very far because we basically um, put Streets of Rage 2 in and um, it ended up, you know, that I played the whole game all the way through. Um, so yeah, as you can see, Streets of Rage 2 is still in there, so I'm going to remove that. And uh, top of the list here, top of the pile, uh, Pete Lampras Tennis and the old uh, J Cart from Codemasters. So I'm going to bang this in, hit record. Um, this is a game that I've played before, I think I've played uh, most of these games before. Oh, for fuck's sake. Problem with the. Uh, Problem with the software. That's not what you want, is it? Pile of ass. So we'll try that again. I shall not be beat. So we'll try and hit record again, see if it fucks up. Looks like it has. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm going to have to stop the video and uh, have a jiggle about and see what, what's what. Alright, so this is the second attempt at um, getting this to work, so hopefully it won't crash again. And it fucking has! Fuck's sake! So I've just applied an update and this is the third attempt and final at this computer. If this doesn't work, I'll be downstairs just recording it off the TV. Bad enough now. Right, so, looks like we're recording. Absolutely brilliant, that's right. Right. So this is Pete Sampras Tennis. Um, I've played this before, um, but it's pretty damn hard. We can bang it on tournament. Oh dear, oops. Hey, 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 I want to go. I don't want, yeah, bollocks. What a pile of ass. Poorly designed menu, that. Untangle myself. Right, so challenge one player. Uh, I don't know, five sets. Love it. So I'll go for Sampras. No, I don't want to enter my name. So it's one player versus a computer. So it looks like you can go for doubles as well. So set your opponent. Who should we pick? Some on English, because they're always crap at tennis. I don't know. Uh, sort of GBE, whatever GBE is. So a nice digitised sound. Um, yeah, it's um, you know simple to kind of pick up. Um, pretty much fucking impossible to master this. I always find that the problem with these games is when you switch, when you switch um, courts, sides, whatever they call it, is that uh, I find that the kind of it fucks up my depth perception when you're playing towards the screen. But you can tell that this is definitely up there with the best 16-bit um, tennis games. Also got obviously the addition of the J-Cart so you can uh, bang a couple of controllers in there and it works like a multi-tap. In my opinion, the J-Cart was just a gimmick really, I mean if you wanted to play four players, you know, multi-tap was cheap enough for the Mega Drive, there was just no need for it really, but, but it's a bonus, it's it's something a bit interesting, but I don't really care about cartridge only, I'd be more more interested in J-Cart if I had the, uh, the box and everything to go with the game. Advantage computer.
Yeah, I've got a few different. Um, I'm just playing with the B button. So here we go. Here's here's where it fucks me up. So it's interesting that um, the digitised sound, the speech, is really good. Well, they just seem to, I don't know, get someone out of the programming team to do the voiceover. It doesn't really sound mm. suited to the game. I'm actually doing better than I usually do in this game, even though I'm just losing. So yeah, you've got a couple of um, buttons. You've got the A. Um, it doesn't look like there's any difference there. Well, I think there is. That's like a lob. The A button's a lob and the B is just a straightforward smash or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> this is pretty useless. The, uh, I think the A button's seemingly... The lob's seemingly useless at anywhere other than, you know, the back of the court. So, this bit sucks a bit. Lung 14. Lung 14. I also got the C button. Um, that either it, it seems to shoot or dive for the ball depending on where the ball is in relation to your player. Computer to serve. Computer to serve. Free games to laugh. I like bomb holes and touching young boys. Love 15. It must be the easiest kind of game to make Love a tennis 15. game. You think the football game's easy enough, but there's not really much to a tennis game. You just got to get the core mechanics of the game right, and I think this game gets all the all the core, you know, the the balancing and everything like that right. They had a few good games, a few good sports titles, the, uh, the Codemasters team. They had the uh, Brian Lara um, cricket games, of course. Uh, they had these Pete Sampras, you know, they had Pete Sampras 96. Um, I'm not really sure what else they did sports wise, that might be it, but. Um, Yeah, maybe they did do some like obscure football game that nobody bought. Obviously, Codemasters uh, bought you the awesome Micro Machines games. They were also available with the uh, J Cart. Used to play a hell of a lot of the uh, the first Micro Machines game when I was younger. Pretty awesome. Advantage computer. So yeah, I think um, you know you kind of get the idea um, with this game. There's not really much point in playing it for a long time. You know, it's just tennis, ball, back and forth action. But yeah, it does. Um, you know, the, the graphics do the job. They're not astounding. Um, the sounds, but again, um, the digitised voice of the announcer's good, but um, it doesn't. It doesn't really create a great atmosphere. But you know, I mean, crowd. Uh, crowd aren't bad. They do what they do. You know, make noise when something happens, decent clapping effects. So yeah, overall, um, it's just a solid tennis game, um, very playable. Um, you know, the Pete Sampras games, they, they're the best on the Mega Drive, really. Um, you can't go wrong if you want a 16-bit tennis game. 
So yeah, very uh, affordable and uh, definitely worth checking out if you're a tennis fan.